All right, so welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to see how to work with a very nice tool called Just or Ingest File. So Just and Just File is a similar alternative to Makefile, but it's not a build system tool like Makefile, right? So with Just and Just Files, you need a file, and the name of the file should be Just, or it can be any of these variants. And the idea is that you put your instruction on it and then it executes your task, right? So it's a task executor and then command runner. It's not necessarily a build system to like Mayfile, but you can also use to build and run your build. And it runs all your tasks in separate shell instance and in isolation. It doesn't have any funny targets like uh, Mayfile. And it has some very cool features. So let's see how it works. So the syntax is similar to Mayfile in which you have a target and a dependency and then your command. Similar to just file, you have your just file, and then you have your recipes on it. So inside your recipe, there's the format, so recipe, dependency, and then your command. So let's see how to work with just file. So it, you can install it on any of the systems because cross-platform, let's, but let's use Python to install it. So pip install rust just. All right, so that is the name of the command that you want to install. So I already have it installed. And then let's see how it works. So if I check my location here, I do not have any file and I have to go with just, if I go with just, it's going to say that no just file found. So you have to create this particular file. All right, so let's create it. So touch just file, All right? And then I'm going to open this location with VS code and you start writing some code. So how does it work, All right? So how does just work? We need a just file. So that is the first requirement. So I come down here and then let me change from plain test to make file just for the syntax. And then let's see how it works. So it goes with first, you need a recipe. So how does it do that? So you just specify something. So let's say I want to go with my length, right? And then I can just go with my command. So this is the recipe. And I will just go with echo. So lengthen, right? And then, so this is how to run a command. So if I go back here and I just go with just dash L, after the boss, it will list all the various commands and recipes on my system, right? So if I go back here to the available recipe. So let's add another one. So we always lint, we always test. Then I can say echo something. So test then. And let's do another one for build, All right? You can also run your simple stuff there or your build commands. So building, you can spell build. So building package. Right, and then let's go with install. So install, in case I want to install something. So echo install package, something like that. So these are all the different recipes, right? So if I go back here, I can just go with the list to list it out. And I can just go with either the long format list. So any of them works. In case I want to add some help information about this, I have to just add a comment on top of it, right? So I can just pass in a comment here. So it's going to be um, format and then lint code, something like that. And I can also do the same thing for here. So run unit test this build package bin, something like that. And then this will be, let's say, install the package. If I go back and I run it again, so now we have the comment there, right? So as the help information, very cool. That is something very nice about it. Now let's see how to run it. So in case I want to run, I can just create my just lint. That is the name of the recipe, this command. And if I run it, so now echo linting, right? So it first execute this command and then it run the command, right? So let's add something like say black dash that version. If I run it again, so echo linting, so you see that it runs this echo linting, then lint, and then it runs the command that I specified here, it displays it before running it, right? So in case I want to suppress this information of the command that is being run, I can just add the, just like in make file, the add sign, right? So if I go with the add sign, it will go straight away to executing. So if I run it again, then now linting, and then black, right? It just executed the command without telling us this. So that is how to uh, suppress. Perfect. Let's see how to also add variables, right? So we have seen 
how to lint, how to use it. We can also chain, right? In case I want to chain up all of them together, I can get go just. I want to lint first and I want to run test, right? So you can chain commands together, right? By set, setting it in successions. Perfect. So we have seen how to list the information with the list. You can also get all the recipes in a summary format. So summary, and then it's going to list in you know, alphabetical order the summary. In case you want to get information about the whole block, right? So I can do the same thing with just dash dash show. So I want information about a particular recipe. You can just go with test and then this will list the entire block, right? So we have the entire block here listed for us. Perfect. Very cool, right? Let's see some other stuff you can also do. How do you work with variables? So in case I have some variables that I want to use, so this is working with variables. I can define a variable and use it. So let's say this is going to be my package name. Package name. Right, this is it, this option. And then I'll specify the package. So let's say pi test. Right. Perfect. So I want to install this package. So how do I do that? I can come down here and then I'll just go it this here and I'll pass in the name of it. So pi uh, pkg name. Right. So in this option here, it's going to insert this variable here. Right. So let's run it again. I come down here and I go with install. Without specifying it, it will just insert the pi test there. Perfect. That is how to work with variables. In case I want to um, use positional argument, right? So, argument. so there are two stuff. There's two main ways. So positional argument. The simplest way is I can just pass in this. So because I want to use this package name as a positional argument, I can come down here and then I'll pass it here as um, package, right? Name. So this is going to be the variable that I want to use this particular variable here. And this variable will be inserted here. So I can hide this. If I run it again, it's saying, okay, recipe install got zero position, but takes one argument, right? So once you specify this option, you want to use position argument, I can hide this. And then if I come down here and I run it again, I can just pass in say pi test. And now it's, it has inserted a test there, right? I can so say something like install run. That it does pass it here, right? So that is how to add positional argument there. Very simple, right? Let's see some other stuff you can also do. With just you can also have functions, right? You can have functions to use. So there are some inbuilt functions you can also use. So the functions goes with something like this. So a simple example of a function. So let's go with um, functions. Something like this, and then echo. In case I want to run a function, I can just go with this option here, right? So OS, this is an inbuilt function, and this is going to list the OS for us. So if I come down here, I can just go with, uh, yeah, function. And automatically, this OS function here is coming from Just, right? So Just has its own inbuilt functions you can also use, right? Which is very cool, right? There are a lot of them, but you can run it. So let's change it from, this is how to use it, right? This thing. So in case I want to do lowercase of something, so let's say echo, I want to do a, a lowercase of some stuff. I can also do the same thing. So, or uppercase, uppercase, and I'll pass in, so testing. And let's try it. Hopefully it works. So this is one way, but yeah, I, I, I made a mistake with it, right? So, but there are some functions you can also do use. Right, so uh, called with zero arguments, so you have to pass in a particular argument there, right? So that is how to use it in built functions. Let's see one more stuff we can also do. We can also use dependencies, right? So as I said in this image here, in which you have recipe and dependency, you can ensure that one recipe depends on another, right? So how do you do that? So in that case, let's say I want to Anytime I run my test, right, I want to lint first, right? So in that case, I'll just come down here and I'll just go with my lint. So let's go back to what we're doing first. You can see all the videos I'm, I have been doing. <laughs> Apologies. Right, so in that case, it's going to be this option here. So test, 
length and now if i run it it's going to first execute the test and the length together so let's go back here and go with just test and then echo testing right if i go with just length oh yeah this is in case i want to chain it right so i have to pass it here it's a push argument pass it here so run this and this is the dependency so if i run test so now linkedin first and then echo right so this is a dependency on this let's see one other stuff we can also do we can also work with uh, these are the settings with settings right that you can set in case you want to set to use a particular shell or set to use uh, env as i specified here how do you do that so i'm going to go back here and i'm going to create a dot env file so in the same location that i have let's close this there's so many videos here <laughs> i would want to same location that we have right i want to create a env file and then and work on it so i'm going to env uh, touch dot env as you can see it has created an env and i'm going to add in some secret here so, so secret and i'll pass in some value so this is secret how do you use this env automatically right so you have to work on the settings and go with set then dot low uh, is yeah uh, dot env load this is a function a settings that comes with just file and in case i want to show what is on it right so let's do it here let's say i'll come down here can env right i can just go straight away and say let's give it something so display something like that display and then i can just go with my echo then then the command here was secret so i have to just echo it out right so something like this so showing env variables and i'll just go with the format so the dollar sign and then my secret right so secret so this secret here is coming from here right and if i go back here and i go with my just dash list this is my display so just display you see not okay showing env this is secret right so this was the command that was found here right very cool so you can expose real settings and then use it inside just well very cool you can also run your commands in suggestions i can run my lens and my test and build right you can also run them in suggestions so linkedin uh, testing and the rest so that is how to work with it so let's see let me use pip here add and then i want to install instead of this option here i want to do this to actually install a package then the here right. so i can actually practically use this so i can just go just then i will specify install cpy test right and it must carry run the command behind very cool you can also set alias you can also do so many things with with just right there is the option of some type of uh, choosing and auto complete which is this option but sometimes it doesn't work right because of it okay so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can put that in the comments below so the basic overview is just like similar to make files but it's very useful it gives you so many features now if i move one more thing like if i move this just file right as you can see from here there's my just file if i move this to location this location here it automatically will identify there's nothing here but if i go with just automatically it picks the first command as the default one right and it's although there is none here if i go out from here there is one here right so you automatically pick based on wherever you find it right and then in case you don't supply anything it picks the first one right as a default you can also specify which of them you want to be a default so thank you for watching see you another time i hope you have learned something with this wonderful tool let me see what you build with it see you